Hey guys, Lego Man 7777 doing my fourth review for the Winter 2015 line. Today we have the Wookiee Gunship. Alright, ages 8 to 14, 75084. The Wookiee Gunship has 570 pieces and is $69.99. This is the biggest set in the wave piece count wise and uh, price wise. So we have new, a new type of blaster, three new minifigures and one recurring minifigure, straight from Star Wars Rebels. We got our lovely stormtrooper on the front, and then it's just a lovely picture. On the back, what do we have? A different view showing all the features, and I will get to them. Alright, then we have a little comic. Got some Wookiees, they're running. The gunship opens up to help the Wookiees. And then they fly away. I don't know. And then we have the new little animated thing here. I don't know what its purpose is. I, I like the way it looks though. It's just fun. Shows the minifigures, I suppose. Alright, so, we have two instruction booklets for this set. Alright, the end of book one, we are this far, so we haven't built the top or the wings yet, but we got the body done, and that is 55 pages in. Uh, the back page of this shows nothing but features, which I guess is all right, I suppose. Whatever. All right, and then going on to book two, let's find our find our final digital model. This instruction book looks a little different than the other ones, and I'll tell you why in a minute. But here is our final digital model, and this is 38 pages in, so. 88 pages total. It is not that much longer of a build than the ATDP or even Anakin's Jedi Starfighter, which is interesting to note. I think it, this one has 10 more pages total building wise. Like I said, kind of interesting. Um, something I thought was. I mean. Uh, not this. This is just a minifigure gallery that they show you, yada yada yada, all the people. But, instead of showing all the sets in the wave in total, they show what sets are exactly from the Rebels TV show. So we have uh, the Imperial Troop Transport, the TIE Prototype, the ATDP, um, the Wookiee Gunship, and Ezra's Speeder. I personally thought the Shadow Troopers were from the Rebels show as well. I guess they're expanded universe then. Um, I didn't really look at that at all. Anyway, that's weird. What do you guys think about that? Do you think the the other battle pack, the Shadow Troopers, is from the is is from the show? Because I don't know. Like I like I've said in other videos, I can't actually watch the shows to know. So I don't I don't even know what this set is. I, I know what it is, like physically, but I don't know its main purpose. Alright. Instead of me rambling for twenty minutes, let's get on to our minifigures. So in this set you get two brand new redesigned Wookiees. Um Wookie wise, we have uh, two normal Wookiees that come in this set. We have Tarful and Chewbacca from the from the droid gunship and the ATAP. But these go along with them nicely. Uh, they even have arm printing on one arm, and they come with the shotgun. No back printing, but it does show the detail in the hair, and they do have some nice leg printing. And you get two of them, which is always nice. Then we have the recurring character, 
that we've already seen from the ghost. This is Kanan Jarrus. He's like the, the Jedi training Ezra, as far as I know. I like him. I've seen one episode of Rebels. Um, and, I don't know, he was fighting the in Inquisitor, so... But, uh, he's the same from the ghost, so if you have that set, this is the same as him, and he has a dual-sided face. Here's his other face with the smirk. Compared to just a stationary kind of, oh no, we're in the middle of a battle face. And our last brand new minifigure, which I've never heard of before, and I like the way they spell his name, it's really weird and stupid. But we have Wolf Waro, with a lot of, lot of double letters going on, but he's a brand new Wookiee. He's, he's a darker color than the other Wookiees included, and... Uh, I mean, he doesn't have printing on this arm, he has, he has a chain over here, he's got a little darker leg printing, but other than that, I mean, he's a pretty standard looking Wookiee, but he's a different color than the other ones. See, here's Wolf, is the darker one, and the regular Wookiee. So you get, you get a nice batch of Wookiees, and of course... Uh, this is a over fifty dollars set, so you get a brick separator. All right, so let's get into the set. Uh, let's see here. What do I want to do? What do I want to do? I guess first I'll just show off some of the detail of the set. So you can see we got. A billion stickers. There's like 16 stickers in the set, so it's kind of ridiculous. And um, I was kind of putting stickers on hastily, and I put this side on the other side, and it was a it was a mess. Stickers don't like to come off once they're on, by the way. So if you ever mess up, just, just don't try to rip the stickers when you take them off. But I, I fixed it, and you can see I got all the stickers on correctly now. And then there's like four on the wings. I mean, they make it look cool. I like I like the way the stickers look and everything, but uh, they could have just printed a couple of them and would have been would have been helpful. And then on the back here, I love the way this is built, by the way. That's super interesting. Um the little fin has two stickers, the same one on the other side. And uh some detail here. The little studs. There's some back detail, which is it's pretty nice, I guess. I don't know. There. This set was interesting for me, um, and I'll get into the features for a second in a, in a second. But uh, I really liked the look of this set when I first saw it when they first leaked like forever ago, way early in 2014. They released this set, and I thought, all right, it's gonna be pretty big and it looks cool it's got it's you know it's a decent color it's not gray and uh you know another gunship maybe it'll match the republic one but when i was building it it actually isn't as big as you think it is it's actually blown up on the box instead of shrunken down which so a lot of sets nowadays are actually shrunken down somewhat but this one is blown up cuz it's actually not all that big and I'll show you what I mean in a little bit when I compare it to another another similar set, I guess you could say. But alright, feature-wise, um, we have the landing gear, and it does move. Um, it does move so you can land it on weird, different terrain, and all that, all that fun stuff. And on the front, you have two cannons that can, that can move like this. The other one does the same. Uh, it, this definitely has a lot of uh, firepower. There we go. Definitely has a lot of firepower to it. And then it has the same type of cannon here at the top. Which moves up and down, obviously. Um, and then it has these repeating blasters here. And I'll show you those in action in a little bit. I've only actually tried them out once, 
from what I can tell, they work really well, just like the spring-loaded shooters. So, for the most part, flick missiles are gone. I mean, there's, there's, there's a few sets in this way that still have flick missiles, but for the most part, they're getting phased out for better, better quality things. But, all right, let's see here. So you can open up the cockpit, and I'm going to take this little blue piece out just to show you that there is a sticker on that as well. Personally, this is just a square. I know, I know you can't see it because it's dark, but it is just a dark gray square. There's really no... I wish they would have done something to this cockpit to make it better. It's just a square. They, literally just a square with the cockpit. So that's a, that's a little kind of bummer. And the same with the second one, too. Like, they just put his control panel on the ground just on the floor I'm going to attempt to put them in there in a little bit because it's slightly difficult but I don't know the cockpits could be better I mean it looks good this the set itself looks really good but there's just nothing 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 here on the in the front Except for that one sticker in the blue piece, it's really not doing anything. But whatever. Whatever, whatever. Alright, so you can open this up. And I thought when I first saw this, I was like, alright, you can store some Wookiees and stuff in there. No. You can't store anything in here. You store what they tell you to, to put in there. It's just a crate. And inside the crate, they have some bombs or whatever. Whatever these are representing I don't exactly know but uh here you go you get three of those that's basically it I like to put Kanan's lightsaber in there just cause it's the only they don't give you a spot for any of the weapons so I just swear I put that in there so like that it just slides on in here. There's not really any room, so like I said, you can't store any Wookiees actually in this gunship. And, of course, obviously the other side opens as well, and we can... It does open up fairly well, and you can see straight through it, and yada yada yada. Um, however... That's it for that middle section. I mean, there's there's nothing else there. These doors right here, you can't see because the wings are covering up. But these, the same pieces, yeah, they don't even open at all. There's just I thought maybe these things would open too, and that's where you store the people. But no, there's a different feature there, and it's less than impressive. So I will actually get to that feature now. So on the back, you can see. I'm gonna put some detail here, I think. This is just weird, just gray. Whatever. But you can open that up and, uh. You can slide out the little blaster turret station. And you can put someone on that and all that fun jet. I don't know. Someone, someone could stand on it in there. And it's open, like it's just a hole. Just chilling. So there's that. I mean, I guess if I really wanted to, I could put a Wookiee. Just put a Wookiee on there. There's a there's a Wookiee standing on the turret. I guess you could put him in there if you really wanted to. Oh, nope, I lied. He can't even fit. Not at all. He's too tall. So basically, basically it's meant for normal minifigures. And that just slides on in there. And you just fold that back up. Now the last main feature, before I show you the like the shooting feature, is that the wings do move up a tad bit. You can you can arrange where you want the miss where you want your repeating blasters to be. Personally, I like the way it looks like this. But on my shelf that I have it on, I actually have to store it like this to save some room. So, there's all that. I'll do the repeating blasters in a second after I put all the people in the set itself. Let's 
focus back. There we go. So you have to lift up that gun. And you have to take off Wolf's, um, his, uh, his, uh, crossbow. I, I don't know what I was trying to say. But basically, you just have to pray that you get him in there. I actually, that was the fastest I've ever done it. And I just throw all the weapons in with him because they're not going to fall out because it's an interesting piece that he's sitting on. And then Kanan, of course, just goes here in the front, wherever you want to put him. And his arms actually have to be down because he doesn't fit with his stupid little ponytail. So there's the all the people in the Wookiee gunship now. And then you can fold that back down. But uh, let's, let us um, show this. So... What you do is you spin this little thing, and it just shoots, where did that go, somewhere, and then, you, you know, then you gotta spend an hour loading them back up, and I, of course, one of them flew way far away off of my little thing. But there's that, it does spin, and there's a little... I guess I can show that up close. Actually, that's kind of cool. Nifty. Hang on. Focus on the set. There we go. So, here it is. And that little gray piece hits the stud and causes it to go out. So far, there's only two sets with that type of blaster. This one and the Senate Commandos little battle pack set has that as well but let us get on to comparison before I finish up this review here alrighty the set of choice today is a it's a pretty old set in my opinion the bounty hunters assault gunship is going to make its comeback now, let's see. Piece-wise, the Wookiee gunship is is a uh, hundred and uh, almost. It's, it's like a hundred and ninety some odd pieces um, bigger compared to the Bounty Hunter gunship. But that doesn't mean anything because the Bounty Hunter gunship is wider, taller in this mode, and long and as long, minus the almost two hundred piece difference. Now, the main difference, other than the pieces, is this set is $49.99, or was, I don't think it's available anymore. This was $49.99, and the Wookiee Gunship is $69.99. I have no idea why the Wookiee Gunship is $69.99. Whatsoever. Zero reason why this set needed to be so expensive. Literally none. I mean, unless, of course, it's the stickers that cost so much money to make, and that is why they needed to bump it up another $10. But this would have been perfect as a $59.99 set instead of $70. Because it has the perfect piece count for a $60 set. It's what I expected it to cost, but of course it costs more, which is, like I said, it's dumb. It's dumb. In my opinion, this set is the only one not worth the price. This set is not worth $70. It's just not big enough. I do like the design of the ship, and it was actually fun building it. But the amount of stickers and the price just takes away from it. It's just... Uh, I'm not trying to be super negative and tell you not to buy the set. It's, it's actually a really nice set. And it looks really good, too. However... I don't know. I would try and find one on sale, or if you gonna buy this off Lego.com or at a store, use your VIP points if you have any for this set in particular to lower the cost a little bit. I don't know. If you buy the Slave 1 and you got $10 off this set, and there you go. Bingo bango. But that's of course if you can afford the Slave 1 and this set at the same time. 
or whatever. But that is it for the Wookiee gunship. This is my last review for right now. I don't have any more sets at the moment. I'm in the process of getting them. It's just, you know, the Slave One was a really big set. And you know, it takes a little bit to recover from such a large purchase. Anyway, leave a like, comment, subscribe if you haven't. I appreciate it. It means a lot. Um, this set is not by any means a bad set. So if you really want it, then go ahead and get it. It's actually a decent set. It's just a little, little expensive. Just a little bit. Anyway, thanks for watching and see you guys later.